fiberglass wasn't really staying in these little grooves, so I clipped it in place. Doesn't really matter if the paper stays there. Now this mess should turn into a beautiful part after I trim it. And... That's a little more like it. Got everything lined up. Now do not touch it till it cures. These little gray pieces of pipe here fit snugly over my side bearings. And then obviously the middle bearings go in this. And then I just used a straight piece of pipe to make sure it's all lined up straight across. Oh yeah, and I stuck a tube in here to make sure this is lined up straight with that. Right now it just has enough resin and fiberglass around all the seams to hold them in place. They're just tacked in. So once that's all hard, I can take out this middle section and then fiberglass those in for real and that. those all fiberglassed in nice and solid. Now how do I keep these bearings together? Well this will keep the bearings from going in too far. Now if I put something on this end it'll pinch them. Of these to fit. I think it's this one. If I can bend this enough.
think that's within acceptable error. It's all going to wiggle some. Just have to make sure this can wiggle a little too. Two screws on each side and they go right into the one end of the bearing so it holds the whole thing together plus the plastic thing so double protection a little bit wobbly I'll have to fine tune these a bit maybe. Yeah, the whole thing wobbles a little though just have to make it all flexible all right next this guy Oh, look at that! Alright. First I need to cut this out of the chair so I can move it over about a centimeter. I tried to make this offset, but I guess when I was fiberglassing it in, it ended up right down the middle. It's not a big deal though, it's just a, there's not much fiberglass holding it yet. Whoa. Oh, looks like a storm is coming. I've been hearing thunder for a while. I guess I better not cut anything open right now. Because that chamber down there is dry and it's currently sealed. So if I cut that open and water gets in it, ah, that's no good. Oh, and while I'm here, yeah, good clearance. Yeah, even if I push it against it, it can't hit. Let's see on the other side. there too. Yeah, hold on. Oh duh, there is something I didn't check yet that's kind of important. Oh, that's pretty good. There's no resistance at all. Man, that'll be really nice when I have clips, so I can pull and push. Vroom! Crank those propellers. I guess while it's raining outside, I can figure out how to attach this gear to one of these pieces of tubing. That's the propeller axle. Whoa. Um, obviously, I can just drill a big enough hole to fit it on there, but it needs to actually grip on, not slip. It needs to turn this with force to turn the propeller. The other situation is the three longest pieces of this stuff I have make one piece big enough for my, uh, my shaft out there. So that means I need to weld three pieces together. Which I don't really want to do. If I only had to weld two together, that wouldn't be such a big deal. I feel like I'm pushing my luck with three though. Because it might break at some point. Uh, the other option is I could go to town. I saw a 20 foot length of this stuff for I think 25 or 30 dollars. So maybe I'll just spring for that. If I cut splines in this, I can't cut them very deep because the, the tube just isn't that thick. Alright, I think I can make a run for it for lunchtime. <laughs> 